Okay, so we we were amazed to uh, uh, to hear that. Uh, again, we go to the B two B side uh, from the consumer side, so we didn't know how we didn't know all the challenges uh, at the company level. When and when they told us that, we were amazed because doing data mapping manually with spreadsheet it's very time consuming, right? Uh, you have to rely on on the human memory, which um, it's a problem, right? We can't really remember everything what if people are leaving the company new people join it's a mess right and then we also um, um we also researched and realized that the manual data mapping approach only have a coverage of 30 percent of the known systems in the company so you have around 70 percent which is unknown we even right. call it a shadow <laughs> it right uh, right no, exactly now, now think about the company, it's scary, right? Because there are systems that no one knows about that have PII, some of that PII can be very sensitive and no one knows about it, it it's crazy. So then we thought, how can we solve that? And um, we took the same uh, consumer technology that we've already developed and through the employees' emails in a non-intrusive approach, we were able to build a whole map of the entire data sources that are being used in the company, whether it's a database or a SaaS, uh, in a few minutes. So two weeks ago, we onboarded uh, a customer or, that has 3,500 employees. And we did a data mapping exercise on the entire organization in seven minutes, which is crazy. He, he got a list of all the data sources, all the systems, and exactly uh, what he keeps in each one of them. And he were amazed amazed to see the results because when they managed their current data inventory, uh, when they did the data mapping uh, exercise manually in their current data inventory, they had around uh, 120 systems and known systems, right? And we, when we did our own scanning, uh, we identified uh, around 340 systems. Which, which is crazy. So we thought we found a lot of systems that were old, used in the past, that were still containing sensitive information. For example, in you know marketing teams that checked different systems, in sales team that they changed the CRM or a recording system or things like that. So we were able to find a lot of you know old systems and really help the company clean everything. But more, more than that, uh, they they could get a real time and accurate view of almost 100% of the systems that are being used in the company and then to do activities like ropa were much easier because all the data is we show them all the systems we show them all the data um, and then we also give a different view of that to see ropa so you you can see an automated view of all the uh, posting activities and you know start managing everything with a huge head start. So this is something that companies really liked because it really helped them to make sure that they do data mapping accurately, whether it's in the cloud or not, and then to um, maintain Europa in a more easy way.